Hey y'all, my name is Clarissa. I feel like I never say my name when I'm doing my videos. So for anybody new that's watching, my name is Clarissa and my channel is Rissa B Blogging. So I hope you decide to stay. If you do, hit that subscribe button for me, please, please, please. I do have some more videos. I am a new channel and I do have several other videos posted. So if you're new, go check them out. And if you're not new and you've been watching my videos and you're still watching my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, do it. Hit the subscribe button. Just do it. It won't hurt nothing. Just hit the button. Anyway, it's Tamu haul time. Yay. It's what we've waited for. This is a little deja vu for me because I actually did this last night. I unpackaged everything, I videoed it, hauled it, everything. But I didn't like the video, so I trashed it. Decided to do it again. So I actually won't be opening it for the first time like I did last night, but I'm still gonna show you what I got. And I'll start with my other hauls first. I'll do Tamu last because I know, Ta I know Tamu's where it's at and that's what everybody wants to see. But the first thing I'm going to show you, I got from Etsy. It's really cute. It, it's not what I thought it was going to be. Um, it's one of those things where I, when I got it, it was a little different than what I thought. I mean, I still like it, but look, it's this cute strawberry sign. Is that not adorable? I love it. And I love strawberries, and it looked vintage to me. So I went back and looked... I thought I thought the sign was metal. It's not metal. It's it's really a picture, a print on a on a board, like almost like a canvas board. Um, but it's real thin, and I thought it was going to be like a hang up sign. There's nothing on. There's no um, hardware on it to hang it. So if I want to hang it up, I'll have to add the hardware. But I still like it. And when I went back and looked at the um, seller, the store of the seller, it looks like they're handmade, like she makes them. And she has all different kinds for all different holidays and all different seasons. So I kind of like that idea, even though these are, they were, it was $15. But if I can find a place in my kitchen for it, like to put it on an easel or something, I can buy some more from her and then switch them out for holidays. So I do kind of like that idea. I do wish it was metal, but I have seen these at picking stores, picker stores. So I'll keep an eye out for it, but I really like it. I like that print. So that's what I got from Etsy. Next, I will show my Ipsy bag came in today. And this was the bag. I think I'm going to stop my subscription for a couple of months. I usually, because all of my stuff is starting to add up. So I have a lot of it. And I'm not using it very quickly. So um, I think after this next bag, I'm going to stop for a couple of months and then pick back up. But anyway, this is the February bag. And that's really a super cute bag. I think I might actually use that one. So I like that. And then the first thing I got in my Ipsy bag is this cute makeup brush. It has hearts on it. Of course, for Valentine's Day. I think looks like a blush brush to me, so I'll probably use that for blush. But that is super cute. I don't even remember what I got. I always do the sneak peeks on the website. I think my camera needs to be moved back. That's, let's see. Ooh, body lotion. Ginger, grapefruit, and raspberry. Check that out. I love lotion. Let's see if it smells good. Did anybody else get an Ipsy bag this month or do y'all do Ipsy? Uh-oh. Did I just break this? <gasps> y'all. It's... Oh. Okay. I don't know what just happened there. 
I'm gonna have to check that out later, but some of it came out, so we'll just try it. Just try it right here. Mmm, that smells good. Mmm. I really smell the grapefruit. I don't smell the ginger too much. It's, I think the grapefruit is the more dominant smell. But that's a nice little smell. It's the, the scent is called champagne. It says ginger, grapefruit, and raspberry. That's pretty nice. I just don't know how I'm, I don't know how I did that. Okay, I'm just going to leave that like it is. Okay, let's see what else we got. Um... This looks like it may be eyeliner or lip liner. It's eyeliner. It doesn't say what color. If I can get this plastic off fast enough, I'll check it out. But it, there we go. Hey, we got it. Let's see. I think it's just, it's kind of like a brown, or it's kind of like a, there's a purple line around it, so. I think it's kind of like a grapey. Oh, it is purple. I know you can't see that, but at first I thought it was brown, but it's like a dark purple. I like that. I don't wear eyeliner much anymore because, well, I just don't. I haven't been wearing it lately. But I got some, like, gold shimmery um, eyeliner. I think I got it in my last, last Ipsy bag. And it's amazing because it looks like glitter. So it just kind of looks like you've highlighted under your eye. Um, so I really like that. But this is a nice color. I'm gonna have to try that, absolutely. That's not gonna go in my extras box. That's gonna go straight in my makeup box on my bathroom counter. So, like that. So we got the lotion, the brush. I'm gonna try not to make this video too long, so I need to hurry up. Okay, next thing looks like lip gloss. Silk Balm. See if I can open it. Looks kind of peachy, iridescent. Yeah, it may just be clear. I don't know. Just may just be like a clear top coat of lip gloss. It feels nice. Oh, and it smells too. No, it don't. I was wrong. I thought it did. Okay, last item. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they usually give you five. This is eyeshadow duo, so two colors. Hmm. It's like a plum and a um peach peachy pink color. Nice. That might look good with uh, that purple eyeliner. So anyway, that's my Ipsy haul. Next is my paparazzi haul. And I don't, hold on. Now, if y'all get tired of seeing my pop, because I do get paparazzi every week. So if y'all get tired of seeing that, just let me know because... I know a lot of people know what paparazzi is and probably y'all may buy it already. If you don't, you should. It's a, They're $5 a piece and it's amazing jewelry. Amazing. It's pretty much all I wear. Um, if you don't have a consultant, I can hook you up with mine because she is amazing. She's in Arkansas. I can't remember what part of Arkansas, but she's in Arkansas. I've actually thought about starting start to sell it. 
Um, but the shipping thing holds me back. I hate to ship stuff. I don't know about y'all. I hate shipping stuff. If I order something online, I am not returning it. I will just try to sell it um, because I hate to ship things. So that's the only thing holding me back um, from selling this. But let's see. The first thing I got, look at this necklace. See if I can hold it up right. It's kind of turning on me, turning around on me. It's iridescent and white rhinestones. It's so pretty. I love iridescent. So pretty. So I got that. Oh, look at these earrings, y'all. Blue and iridescent. I love those. I also got the same ones in these, but the instead of the blue stones, it's hematite, like more of a black stone. They're so pretty. Got those. I got these oil spill colored hoops. I think I like those. I don't know. I usually, anything I get that I don't like or don't wear immediately, I'll just end up selling it. I have several people here who buy my jewelry, so. Um, I got these gunmetal bracelets. It's a stretchy stretch set. So really, really, those are, you get three bracelets for $5. So that's a great deal. Can't be, um, this piece she sent, I got a free piece. I want a free piece from her. So this is my free piece. I don't know if I'll keep it or not. It's a purple stone with white rhinestones around it. Looks like a flower. I don't think I'll wear that, so. I may try to sell that. I could do some giveaways on YouTube with my paparazzi jewelry. Get those numbers up. I love this. This is out of my comfort zone because I wear a lot of silver. But this is like rose gold or copper with iridescent stones in it. I just think that is so pretty. And then these earrings, they seem pretty light, but these earrings match it. I'm going to have to find something to wear with that. Uh-oh. That's just so pretty. Look at that. I love it. I love my paparazzi jewelry. And then I got two rings. I don't know if I'm going to keep this ring. It's really pretty. And I like butterflies. It's a little bit bigger ring. But it's a gunmetal and white rhinestone butterfly. It's really pretty. I'll just see if I wear I'll probably wear that. That's pretty. So anyway, that's my paparazzi haul. Oh, Paula Dean. I ordered something from Paula Dean's website. Every week on her Facebook page, she does a giveaway of a bundle. And you can also buy the bundle. Most of them are like $19.99. And she was doing this giveaway. Of course, I didn't win. So I decided to buy it because I thought it was cute. But the first thing is her ooey gooey butter cake in double chocolate. Does that not sound heavenly? I love chocolate, as you can tell. Um, I do love chocolate. I'm not a baker. I'm not a from scratch baker. It has to come from a box mix first for me to bake it. I do make desserts, but I'm just not a from scratch baker. You know, the flour and the baking powder, baking soda, mixing all that together, wet ingredients, dry ingredients. That's just not my thing. I'd rather cook. I'd rather cook food. Um, but this looks easy. You just add two eggs, a stick of butter, um, an eight ounce block of cream cheese, mix it all together, mix it with the mix, and you're good to go. I can't wait to try that. But ooey gooey butter cake. And then it also came with this cute little tea towel that says bless your heart because you know in the south we like to say bless your heart and we say it for anything good or bad if something bad happens oh bless your heart if something good oh bless your heart you know it's just that's our thing and then it also came with this mug that says bless your heart I don't use mugs a lot because I don't drink a lot of coffee at home 
Um, but I just thought that was super cute and it looked good with the tea towel. So cute little haul from Paula Dean. Now, let me make sure. Okay. Now let's get into the Tamu haul, shall we? It's what you've been waiting on, right? I need a drink of water. Okay. The first thing I got, I'm sorry I can't like unpackage it for you, but it is what it is. And I did write down the prices. I know some people have been doing their Tamu hauls um, telling the prices of the items and some people haven't. And it's because the prices may be different when you go to order. They change and then they offer specials and they have sales and stuff. Plus, like I use a, I used a um, coupon code from another YouTuber, so my total bill, it came off. But I did write down the individual prices just so you could see how good the prices are. And, you know, it doesn't cost much to just try it. And if you don't like it, you don't have to order anything else. But I am going to place another order. I have several items in my cart. Um... The first thing I got, I got a few kitchen items and then some jewelry and then a couple of other things. But these are meat claws. I've been wanting some of these for a while. I've been wanting to try them. I've seen them at other places. But Tamu had them and they were only $3.78 for the meat claws. And you just shred you take them like forks and shred your meat. I don't do good shredding meat that I've cooked with just regular forks. It just doesn't work well for me. So I've been wanting to try these. Um, I'm sure they would. it'll work good for like a big roast or a big um, pork roast to do barbecue. So I think these will work good, so we'll see. I will try to remember to let you know if they worked. I'll probably forget. So on my next haul, just ask me. Just remind me. Um, I got this bottle of perfume. It is Honey Peach. Amy at Away Girl Vlogs, she got this scent and she said it smelled really good. I thought I was getting two of these, but I, cause it's seven, this one was $7 and 64 cents. Marsha, let me know how much yours was because these are sold out right now. I think they're gonna come back, um, but these are sold out right now. So I couldn't tell. I thought I was getting two because I wanted this one and I wanted the cherry blossom one, but I may not have gotten two, so. Let me know how much yours was. Mine was $7.64. So, but it smells really good. And I'm going to tell you what it smells like to me. Amy, you'll have to let me know. I'm an 80s girl. I grew up in the 80s. I was a child in the 80s. My elementary school years, I had all the toys. I had everything the 80s had to offer, basically. So, I had all the strawberry shortcake dolls. This smells, I don't remember her name, but I'm, it was something apricot. I don't remember what the rest of her name was, but she was the apricot doll. I think she had the little white bunny. This, to me, smells just like her, like identical to her. I remember that smell. Like this just took me back to my childhood and my strawberry shortcake dolls. But it smells good. Hopefully it'll smell good on. Mm. It is a nice little smell. So I'm anxious to try that. Staying in the perfume area, I got these two little things. And Amy also got one of these. And so it piqued my interest to get one. And then I actually got two. I can't remember what scents they are and they don't tell on here. But they were only 
these were only a dollar and 48 cents. So, but I just thought it was neat because they literally, it literally looks like lip balm. I'll have to be careful not to mistake that for lip balm and put it on my lips. But it's perfume, but it's lip balm. That's a nice little smell. But I just thought this would be good. You can like keep these in your purse or keep them in your car. Like if you're gonna be gone all day. Um, what is my neighbor doing? Okay, I'm being a nosy neighbor. Um, I thought these would be good to keep in your purse or your car. And like if you're gone all day, you have something to do, and you have something to do that evening or whatever. Um, you may just need a little freshen up, you know, so you just take out your little perfume balm and dab it behind your ears or wherever you want to dab it. Um, so we'll see if these actually get used. I don't know if they will, but we'll see. I wish I knew what scents they were because that's a, that's a real clean smell. This reminds me of, and I'm not saying this in a bad way, I'm saying it in a good way. It reminds me of my grandmother, like something she wore. Like when I smell it, I can smell her, and that's a good thing. But that's a nice, clean smell. This, ha this one has a little bit more of a perfumey smell to it. I just can't remember what they were, what they are. But yeah, those are nice. We'll see if they get used. I don't know. They were only $1.48, so. Um, let's see what's next. Let's go back to kitchen items. And again, I mentioned that I love strawberries. And I do have an egg slicer that will slice strawberries quite nicely. But look, it's a strawberry egg slicer. It's so cute. Amy, I know you got this and you showed it on your video and that's what made me want it. So, it's a strawberry slicer. I just thought it was cute. So cute. And it was $2.48. So, you can see how good these prices are. And these are the true prices that I paid for them and then I got like the percentage. I got like 30% off of my total of my total so so I got like 11 items for $24 so this I got again it just piqued my interest and I wanted to try it I got this little bad boy it has suction cups on the back of it and you suction it to your sink I hope it holds it, it doesn't feel the suction cups don't feel very sturdy like I don't know if it's gonna work but we'll see it may surprise me but you suction this to the back of your sink and then this cleans your cups you slide your cup on the brush and then you can turn your cup and it cleans it so you don't have to try to stick a brush down in your cup or stick your hand down in your cup or whatever so and this will come in handy right now for us this is why I got it because our dishwasher is currently broken and I don't know if we're going to get it fixed or get a new one or whatever. Um, so I just got this to try because we're having to hand wash all of our dishes right now. So anyway, thought I'd try that. And it was $5.48. So if it doesn't work, I'm not out a whole lot of money. So let's see. Now, I think I, I think I told the prices of everything else. Yeah. Okay, the last kitchen item I got is this little baby right here. It's hard to tell what it is just by looking at it, right? This is a potato sack. Uh, potato Express is what it's called. And it's just a little fabric sack and it will fit up to four potatoes, depending on how big they are, probably two large potatoes or four small potatoes. But you just put your potatoes in here and you cook them in the microwave. 
and it even it has the instructions on the front. Place one to four washed potatoes into Potato Express, then close the flap. Place Potato Express in the microwave and cook for four minutes. Carefully remove Potato Express from the microwave and remove the potatoes. So, I just thought that'd be neat to try, just for a quick, you know, especially if it's just me or, you know, if Eric or Garrett want to cook a potato, there you go. Um, and this was only a dollar and 48 cents. Yes, a dollar and 48 cents. So why not try it? Why not? What have you got to lose, right? Okay, I have four more items left and they are jewelry items, of course. Let's see. The first thing I got was this ring right here. It's supposed to have like a, it's a black ring. It's all dark. And on the picture on the website, the stone was like an oil spill. And it has some little stones on the side, and they kind of look red to me, so I don't know if they're supposed to be like a purpley color or oil spill color. But it, it, the ring is so dark, you don't know. And I did order, I did order my size for what my ring size is, and it fits perfectly. I mean, and it's a small ring too, and I, I have, I have fat fingers, but it fits perfectly. So I will definitely order another ring um, if their sizes are that good because it fits. And I just thought that was cute. And that was, y'all, this ring was $1.29. $1.29. So we'll see how long it lasts. And hopefully it won't, like, turn my fingers or anything. But I'll let you know. But really, what do you got to lose? It's $1.29, right? The next thing, okay, I'm going to show the earrings first. This is a necklace and earrings that match, but I'm going to show the earrings first. They're not as deep in color as the necklace, but I got these cute, dainty little earrings. Oh, sorry. These cute, dainty little earrings. Aren't those cute? Like I said, you can see the color. It's not as deep. Let me show you the necklace. The necklace that matches, it has beautiful color to it. That's the necklace. Look at that. I love that. I love all that color. I wish the earrings were as deep as that, but it's okay. I'll still wear them together because they match. I just love that. That is so pretty. I can't wait to wear that. The the earrings the earrings were three thirty nine, and the necklace was a dollar eighty eight. So not bad. I mean, it's like my paparazzi. Not bad for that. And the last item. This is my favorite. I've been wanting some dragonfly earrings for a long time, and I have not been able to find any. And Tamu had, they had all different kinds of dragonfly earrings, but I saw these first. They're just simple little silver dragonflies. Look, They're, they fly. Little silver dragonflies. I absolutely love them. The only thing I can't figure out, y'all look at this. The, the way you put them in your ear. Have y'all ever seen anything like that? And it it just unhooks like that. And then hooks back. I've just got to figure out. I can't figure out how you put it in your ear. Like, do you go from the back or the front? Because I just, I, or then do you stick your earlobe down in it? I don't know. It. I've never seen anything like that. So I'm going to have to go play with that and see, I mean, have y'all ever seen any an ear back like that? I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with it. Hopefully I can get it to work. I'm not, re I'm not really coordinated with stuff like that. Um, so we'll see. 
But anyway, that is my first Tamu haul. And like I said, I do have some other items that I'm going to order. So um, in a couple of weeks, I can't remember how long it took to get this, this order in. It wasn't too long. But um, I'll place another order, so I'll be doing another haul soon. So let me know if you enjoyed it, and let me know if you've ordered from Tamu and what you've ordered, and if you're satisfied with it. I'm satisfied with everything, I can, as long as everything works the way it's supposed to. Um, I'm thoroughly satisfied with it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Again, I think I said this at the beginning, but I'll say it again. If you have not subscribed, please, please subscribe. Um, leave me a comment. Talk to me. Let me know what you think. Um, I just posted a video today um, from Saturday and today. Just some chit-chatting in the car. Um, and then I posted a link to a video. Um, so you'll have to check that out. I'm not going to say anything more about that because I've already posted it. So check that video out. It'll be right before this one. So, um, anyway, I hope y'all have a good week today. Today's Monday, so I have a very busy week ahead. We have a lot going on. Um, my boys are actually at a basketball game about an hour away um, that our, our varsity girls advanced to the tournament. So, they are there for that game, and I decided to stay home. So, I'm going to get some more laundry done, and I've still got a little more to unpack, get the suitcases put away, and then I'll be good to go. So anyway, have a good week. God bless you all, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Y'all, I'm an idiot. I'm a complete idiot, and I'm sure that y'all were laughing at me. You might have been yelling at me to turn them, turn them the other way, turn them the other way. But y'all may have just been sitting there laughing at me. Because let me tell you, I've just been sitting here laughing at myself for several minutes. Not believing my stupidity. Y'all, the dragonfly earrings. And as you can see, I love dragonflies. I even have one in my bedroom. Compliments of Hobby Lobby. Y'all, the dragonfly earrings. I was cleaning up my stuff and I brought all of my jewelry and makeup into my bedroom. And I was like, I'm going to figure these dragonfly earrings out. I'm going to figure out how to put them in my ear. Y'all, I had them upside down. Hold on, I'm trying to get it back. Y'all, I pulled them out of the package and they were hanging like this. So I thought, well, that's how they're supposed to do. So I came in here trying to figure out how in the world I'm going to get that in my ear so that those dragonflies are hanging. Y'all, it was just upside down. <laughs> it was upside down. The dragonfly goes into that little hook. And then they just go like a fish hook. I'm sure y'all already knew that. Y'all been yelling at me, haven't you? It's just a fish hook back. Look how cute. I love those. But y'all, it's a fish hook back. I just had it upside down. That's all. But I did all that. I can't believe how stupid I probably looked. Y'all, please leave me a comment. You, you Look, you will not hurt my feelings, trust me, because I've been sitting here laughing at myself um, and shaking my head at myself. So, y'all, please leave a comment and let me know if you noticed that when I was showing them that I had it upside down. Um, just let me know. Let me Just let me know if you were laughing at me. That is perfectly fine. Um... Or let me know if, if you were just as baffled as I was about how I was going to get that in my ear. So anyway, I had to come back on and acknowledge my stupidity over that. I mean, that was just hilarious. That's hilarious. So I hope y'all got a good laugh out of it like I did. So anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe. But I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.